Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Matt, here, and welcome to a brand new Matt movie here on the Matt's Movies channel. And today, uh, I'm going to be doing a really special video because today we're going to be taking a look at the Champions character pack because on Tuesday, last Tuesday, the the Tuesday of this week, they, um, of course, released the Champions character pack, which is really cool, and this is an amazing character pack. It is so incredible, probably one of my favorites so far, just because it contains so many really cool characters, and, um, yeah, so, so, yeah, so I wanted to make a really cool video showing you guys them, so, the, char the characters in the Champions character pack, so, here we go. So, first off, we have Amadeus Cho, and I gotta say, this design looks really cool. Amadeus Cho was in Lego Marvel's Avengers, and it's cool they didn't just reuse that design and made it different. Like, that's really cool. And the really cool thing is, check this out. I, he actually has this really cool weapon. Look at that. That's really cool. So he can actually, like, charge up this, this little, like, hammer thing and actually shoot it off, which is just really cool. And he can shoot off bolts and electricity beam as well. So that definitely is really cool. I don't even know what the heck that thing is anyways, but it's really cool. But, the coolest part about him is, check this out. Look at that, he can turn into the totally awesome Hulk. That is incredible, look at that. So we can just run around with him in his really cool Hulk form, which is just so cool. Like, look at that, that is really cool. The fact that you can actually just run around in his Hulk form. He's got the Thunderclap, but a more deadly version of it, I guess. And still has the Hyper Jump, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyways, now let's move now let's move along to the next character. And the next character we've got is Sparky, which is really cool. So this is basically like Viv's dog who we're gonna get to in a moment. But the really cool thing is that this dog is capable of a lot of cool things, like it can teleport, kinda like uh lockjaw would, so that's really cool. And he can even fly, which is just really cool. Like a flying dog. <laughs> that is definitely really cool. And I gotta say the design looks pretty cool and uh, I really like it. That's pretty cool. Alright, next up we have Hawkeye Kate Bishop. So, we've got, so in this DLC pack we do get the Kate Bishop version of Hawkeye, which is just really cool. She wasn't like a Marvel's Avengers, but it's cool how they made like a different design of her. That's pretty cool. She's got the same sort of abilities of Hawkeye. She can shoot off her bow, target with it, and she's even got a charge attack, which apparently Noble Hawkeye has, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And I love that design. It looks really cool, like the quiver and the and the um, hair and everything. Looks really cool. Now let's so now let's move on to Ironheart. There we go. So there she is, Ironheart. So this is basically so Ironheart is Tony Stark's protege, which is really cool, and she is included. And I gotta say, um, um hold on, let's. And another good look at her. Right there. I gotta say, that's a really incredible design. The design of her just looks really good. And I gotta say, I love how vibrant it is in terms of like how like the the colors like bounce off and everything. It just looks really good. And I love the design of it, it just looks really cool. She's got the same kind of generic abilities as Iron Man. She can shoot off the repulsive blast. And and she's even got, sorry if you hear voices in the background, that's just my family, but yeah, she's got all the abilities of Iron Man, so that definitely is really cool. There, let's move on to Nova. So yes, Nova is in fact in this DLC, and this and this is the Sam Alexander version, and I love how it's like the di different compared to the, the, um, the version from like the previous two. Um, Lego Marvel games, so that definitely is really cool. I love the black and the gold and everything. It looks really good. And he's, of course, got these little blasts and an energy beam. So, look at that. That looks really good. That looks so good. Like, And he can, of course, fly around. So, yeah, so you can fly around with him and uh, looking very, very cool. And I gotta say, pretty cool design. Uh, now let's move on to the character I mentioned before, and that is Viv. So Viv is the daughter of Vision, which is really cool. And I really hope that like maybe they they make her appear in the MCU films because I would love to see her. Because look at her, that, she looks really good. Um, she can of course shoot um, energy blasts from her forehead, from like I guess like the Mind Stone or something. And she can of course like Vision shoot off the beam. 
And the other cool thing is she can turn invisible. And can fly around, just like Vision. So that definitely is really cool. Very cool design. Um, and I love, and the really cool thing is that you can even have her and Sparky running around as well. So, as well, like, look at them. Look at two of them standing together. That looks pretty good. All right, now let's move on to the Nadia Pym version of the Wasp. So we actually have another version of the Wasp in this DLC pack, and that is just amazing. Look at that. That is a really good design. Um, probably the probably the best looking Wasp we've got so far in the game because it just looks really good. Definitely superior to the one that we have in the game. I mean, that version is good as well, but I just love this version as well. So she's got the energy blast just like the wasp. She can fly around just like the wasp. And she can, of course, shrink. So that definitely is really cool. And I'm really looking forward to getting the wasp in the Ant-Man and the Wasp DLC pack coming out later this year, so that will be really cool. Next up, we've got Moon Girl, which really, that is really cool. Look at that. She's probably one of the most one of the really cool obscure characters in this DLC pack because look at her. She just looks really cool. And she is probably one of my favorite characters in this pack because she has so many really cool abilities. Like, look at her fighting style. That looks really cool. And the cool thing is that she can also hyper jump, which is really cool, and fly around. Like, how cool is that? She can actually fly around. And the cool part is, look at her flying animation. It's like a helicopter thing coming out of her backpack and she's remote controlling it. That is just awesome. That is really cool. Look at that. And just fly around, fly around. Very, very cool. And the really, the other really cool thing is, check this out. She's actually good. She can actually shoot out of, off an electricity beam. How cool is that? That's definitely some. That's a, so overall an amazing character. And now, so now let's move on to the to the last character in this DLC and probably my. One of my favorite, one of my favorites, and that is Devil Dinosaur. Yes, Devil Dinosaur is in fact in this character pack, and my goodness, what a fantastic design this is. I mean, look at that. That just looks so cool. Just to be able to roam around Chronopolis with a giant red T-Rex is really cool. He can, of course, has a lot of really cool chomping attacks, and, and he's even got this charge attack, and boom, he can fire it off. And the really cool thing is that if you, whoops, if you switch to Moon Girl, you can actually ride him. Like, how cool is that? You can actually ride, um, Devil Dinosaur with Moon Girl, which is definitely really cool. Like, look at that. That's really cool. And you can, of course, switch, and you can jump off. So, very cool. All right. So, with that in mind, there you guys have it. That is my complete showcase for the Champions character pack in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then leave a like that would be appreciated and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think do you think this is an awesome character pack do you think it's not leave your opinion in the comments below i personally like it because we have a lot of really cool characters and um of course we are right around the corner to getting another dlc because of course next month black panther is coming out and we are going to be getting the black panther movie level pack along with it and i'm really looking forward to that dlc so yeah so with that in mind peace out and i'll see you later